Well, the Biden administration preparing to send another $600 million military package to Ukraine. That is according to U.S. officials who spoke with Reuters. The announcement comes as Germany is sending more weapons to Ukraine, including two multiple launch rocket systems, 200 missiles, and 50 armored personnel carriers. But Germany's military package didn't include what Ukrainian officials want most, tanks. President Zelensky's top advisor criticized Germany this week for ignoring their pleas. Meantime, Ukrainian officials say a Russian missile strike hit Zelensky's hometown today. It comes a day after another attack hit a dam in the city. This video shows the flooding in the area. Ukrainian officials say they narrowly avoided a real catastrophe. Meantime, Ukrainian forces continue to press deeper into Russian-occupied territory in Ukraine, Russian troops retreating and leaving military equipment behind. International coverage now from our sister network Sky News and their reporter Deborah Haynes in a liberated city in northeast Ukraine. This Russian tank is having a makeover. Ukrainian troops now in command. Russia's retreat from the Kharkiv region is being captured in celebratory pictures. One soldier who's part of Ukraine's offensive described what he saw. They just ran away. There was small arms fire, but not the big combat that we saw in the first days or in the first months of the invasion. The military volunteer showed us what he said had been a base for Russian troops on the edge of the city of Izium, abandoned less than a week ago. This place was where Russian soldiers came to fix their vehicles. You can see here the Z marking what was a Russian military vehicle. Clearly the Ukrainians knew that as well. And judging by the enormous hole in the ceiling and the devastation all around, they struck this place as part of their counteroffensive that pushed the Russians out. They fled in a hurry. So this is where they used to live. Russian bron, bronzelet. Oh, body armor. Yeah, so there's, there's jars of what look like pickles or something. Um, there's bits of clothes all over the floor. We've seen a prayer book uh, as well. Boxes of ammunition were also discarded. Russian. Russians, Russians. Это ба, фай. Накручивается она. Это болван. Ukraine wants the world to know its city is back under control. Izium is free, but it's hurting after months of war. A cluster bomb killed Yuri's wife. Our homes need to be completely repaired. We need to fix the windows and to get gas, electricity and water. The suffering is everywhere. This man uses a wood stove to heat tea and soup for the few neighbors who stayed in his apartment block through the Russian shelling. We fell down. I wasn't hurt, but she was wounded in the heart. The shrapnel went straight through her. How to fix a country while still fighting a war? Ukraine has no choice but to try. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Izium.